right? But um, the first thing I do want to talk to you today, Jack, is uh, basically how you got started because I think I I would I would assume that you that you get pretty frequent questions about like how like how can I grow this or like how did you get involved with this? And yeah. uh, you know, looking at your kind of your background, I know you had a lot of connections even before you got you know to this level of success. You know, I, I know your family uh, actually sold beer to both the Orioles and the uh, the. The Raven. uh, the Ravens, yes, the Ravens. Uh, you know, so just kind of explain, you know, like, how did you, like, first of all, like, how did you, like, get, get like, like, what was your first idea of, like, oh, I'm going to start, like, a Snapchat sports account. Like, that's that's going to become a bit, like, my next big thing. Yeah. I'll I'll go all the way back to what you mentioned, which is okay. <laughs> family business. So I think the key here and something that, Josh, you're going to learn a lot of is, you need to love the business side of sports to be successful in it. So if you're a really good creator, there's a ton of really funny people in the United States who love sports, like the famous Loses and the Max is nice. They're awesome, but they have a mastermind or they have a business side to them. They understand the algorithm. They understand what works, what, what captions work. It's not just the content at the end of the day. So I grew up in a, in a family that focused on sports business. When the Ravens won, in the playoffs it meant another week celebrating the Ravens drinking and buying beer, right. And more stadium sales if they had a home playoff game. So every win actually meant more to the family business than it did to just cause we were fans and the fandom grew from that. But I grew up as a sports business fan. So uh, I was very entrepreneurial growing up. I would sell, I would string lacrosse sticks, do that. I would sell brownies at school. I would do all that (laughs) type of stuff. Um, And then when I got to school, my sophomore year, me and a buddy, we had, you know, a couple hundred bucks and we were, you know, in a fraternity and had some free time. And we started this phone case company. I actually have a phone case right here. A-list cases. So that's Chance the Rapper. Is that you in in the case? Who is that? No, it's Chance the Rapper. Oh, okay. (laughs) So a lot of people were doing these. They were making these phone cases and they were, you know, sports athletes, silhouettes of them holding the Apple logo. And we were like, no one's doing rappers. I love Drake, Kanye, Chance, all those guys. We found out very quickly the reason why no one was doing them was because everyone wanted the sports designs because people oh, okay. ha- have a crazy passion for that. So we did that. We started to make uh, phone cases. Then we went to T-shirts. Then we went to hats, sweatshirts. We worked with John Wall, Mohammed Sanu, and everything was published and promoted through social media. So not even really Facebook ads like buying ad space off of big Instagram accounts. So I would pay them, you know, 500 bucks. They post the thing. We drive $1,200 in in sales, but after paying for the goods, we're netting like 200 bucks off of $1,200. And it just isn't sustainable over time because that audience will then have seen those ads and they grow tired. And then you got to find the next person. So I was like, what if we just create our own thing, right? Our own advertising platform looked at Twitter, looked at Instagram, saw no one was on Snap. And fortunately, Snap was really good at two things. One, the the viewing experience makes a lot of sense. You kind of just click through. You don't go to House of Highlights Instagram feed and watch all the content. You just see whatever's on your feed. This, you can actually go directly to us on Snapback and kind of click through. And then number two, which I'm sure you've seen, and it's a big part of why I'm here, I engage with the community. Social media, Mm -hmm. the point, right? was to connect us to these big personalities. And then Stephen A goes on TV. He's not tweeting back at me, uh, his opinions and why I'm right or why I'm wrong. He's just saying his thing. And then he goes on with his day. So I've taken, you know, hours, hundreds of hours, thousands of hours responding to people in the snapback fam, because I care about their opinion. I think that's the point of social media. So uh, that's the very brief backstory to where I got today. (laughs) Then it's just kind of gone crazy. We've, we've networked, we've partnered, we've done, everything we can to keep just kind of blowing it up outside of Snapchat. Yeah. I, I, I think it's absolutely incredible. You've done it. And I think a big thing that you were just talking about is engaging with the people who like you because you know, it makes them feel good. And I'm sure it's got to make you feel good. And I think I, I think I want to talk to, uh, you know, touch upon what something you also said is, you know, becoming, you know, successful in this business, you know, is it, isn't a lot of it, you know, trying to find something that's just unique? Like you, like you said, no one was really on Snapchat when you come, when you came onto the scene. So like, how, like, do you think that is a major part of, you know, getting, you know, successful in this business? 
Yeah. So being a big fish in a small pond, right. Over being a small fish in a big pond is a way easier way to grab that market share. So when I built something that no one was really doing on snap, I had such a first mover advantage that no one ever caught me. And there's people who tried and they're half our size and they're successful in their own way, but not at the scale that we've done it. Cause we've really nailed it down that, that formula, that answering the fans, all that stuff. So being unique matters, being talented really matters, being committed matters. You know, you touched on before, how many times do you think I've gotten, Hey, I want to start a page, right? How do I do it? Okay. Just before you think about starting that page, commit 20,000 posts over four years, 365 days a year, <laughs> every single year for four. Right. right? So so do you want to go through that? Is that worth it to you? And then, so people are always like, come on my podcast or uh, shout out my page. And, and I always say to them, go like, this isn't your first episode, right? No, 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 no. This is, this is episode 57, 58, exactly. maybe. Yeah, exactly. And, and to me, that's what it, it's, you've shown consistency. You're not thinking it's just, I'm going to post about it and it's going to blow up overnight because it wouldn't like, no, we need, we need, <laughs> our audience to care about what the product is. So I, I always say to them, post for six months on whatever page, Instagram, Twitter, wherever you want to build it, six months, every single day, all day long, come back to me. I will shout the shit out of you. Sorry for cursing. <laughs> no, 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 shout, you're fine. <laughs> I will shout you out as much as you want. Do you know how many people have come back to me like that? Uh, I can't imagine it's a ton. Uh, I think maybe one person. Yeah. <laughs> and they had posted for a few months. And, and that's the point is no one wants to see 82 followers, right? They want to see right. thousands and thousands and thousands. Um, and on top of that, a lot of them will just go and try and do stuff that's already been done. Whereas some pretty cool, I'll give some shouts to like, have you seen gridiron minis? Like the mini trend of like the guys. The yeah, yeah, yeah. The people where it has like yeah. running backs is like two exactly. feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that is like very unique and there's people that's going to catch people's eyes. Another you posting that Anthony Edwards dunk again on your own page when house to highlight sports center ESPN are already doing it. Why would anyone come to your page for that? So exactly. they, they tried, you know, you got to come up with a unique, unique idea. Once again, big fish, small pond. See, yeah, I, I can relate to that, you know, entirely. Cause you know, I've been doing this. I started back in mid July, right before my birthday. Uh, and now we're here in, geez, what is it? Is it almost, it's almost March yeah. and you know, I haven't blown up yet. Not even close, not even close compared to you, but I still love it. I, I love talking about sports. I love doing research. I've had, uh, I think you're probably one of the, probably the ninth or 10th, 10th guests I've had on here. Absolutely love doing this. And, and I think it's just important to remember it. Like if you want to, you know, if you want to do this and you want to have success, you got to put in the work. Like there's, there's no other way around it. Like the people you're talking about, you know, you're like, Oh, like come on my podcast, you know, retweet my, my Twitter account. Like, and then they just go silent. It's just, right. it's just not, it's just not going to work. So how's it going guys. And thank you so much for reaching into this video. If you're interested in more content, be sure to go subscribe, you know, turn on push notifications, all that good stuff. Also I'll leave links to my Instagram and Twitter up here above. And also be sure to go follow the podcast. Uh, that is where the bulk of my content comes from uh, i upload to all the major podcast uh, providers you know apple podcast spotify all that good stuff i upload to it all and yeah i'll see you guys next time